I loved being dark skinned before loving dark skin was a trend. I will repeat. I have loved being dark skinned before being dark skinned was a trend. So this is a clip that kind of triggered this video. A lot of people have been talking about it. And I just wanted to kind of say my opinion to my dark skinned sisters out there. Let's get right into it. So I just really wanted to say love yourself, you guys. Love yourself. I've always loved myself. I've always obsessed over dark skin. I love, love, love dark skin. Stop just worrying about what people say, y'all. Stop worrying about what people say. Like, it's so funny because it's like a lot of girls. A lot of girls, they obsess over lighter dudes. Like, I've dated lighter dudes, you guys, and one time I was dating this dude, and this dude was telling me, oh, I can't go outside right now because the sun is out and I'm going to get too dark. From that moment, I looked at him different. I was like, okay, sis, let's go inside. You know, let's not mess up your skin tone. You and my man. That's just the way I feel, and it's so disgusting to see that. In 2020, people still think less of dark-skinned people, like, what i even had a acquaintance cry because she had got pregnant by a dark skin man and she was so sad because she was so scared that her baby was gonna come out dark well let me tell y'all her baby came out dark and that baby is gorgeous okay that baby is pretty that baby is beautiful and it was just so crazy that i actually had a moment with somebody who thought i don't want to have dark skin kids and cried about it but it was okay for you to have sex with this dark skin man though but it's not okay for you to have his babies Stop caring about what these people think, okay? I'm telling y'all, y'all gonna keep thinking about caring about what these people think, and it's gonna drive me crazy. It's gonna drive me crazy because what? I've had people tell me to have to bleach my skin. I've had people tell me to have kids with a white man. I've had people tell me to stay out of the sun. The sun is my best friend. I tan. I love to tan. I love to get darker. I used to obsess with getting darker. Summertime used to come around, bam, I'm outside with no clothes on, and I'm about to tan, and I'm about to get dark. You know why? Because I just used to love it. I don't know why. I can't explain it. But I just used to love my skin from being so dark. I used to look in the mirror and feel so beautiful, so gorgeous, so just popping, y'all. And I can't explain why, but I just did, and I loved it. And I really want any dark-skinned girl out there who might be feeling insecure. Who might be feeling like, oh, I don't like my black features. Look at yourself. Really look at yourself. And ask yourself, why don't you like these things? Is it because the people told you not to? Or you just genuinely don't like it? Because if you genuinely don't like it, that's cool. You don't have to like what you see. But if you don't like what you see based off the next person narrative or what the next person has to say or what the next person's standard of beauty is, fix yourself. And stop worrying about these people. I promise you. I promise you. I've had people from high school tell me, I used to like you back in the day, but it wasn't popular to like dark-skinned women back then, and now they like me. First of all, I loved me before it was a trend to love me, okay? So, I have love for myself, I have respect for myself, I have standards, and you need to set these standards for you. You need to love you first, you know? Stop worrying about what the next person thinks. Love you first, because when you learn to love you first... Your standards are going to be high. You're not going to want to deal with the BS. You're not even going to want to listen to the BS. You're not even going to... what When you hear people say these ignorant things, it's going to be so crazy to you that it's not going to affect you. Because you know they don't know no better. They ignorant. They don't have no sense. Why do I even care what this person has to say? You're not going to care. Once you have that love and respect for yourself. I have light-skinned friends. I have never envied them. I have never wanted to be them. You know how girls be like, oh... Men treat light-skinned girls better. I'm sorry. Those are not men. Those are little boys. Stop worrying about those little boys. A man is going to love you no matter what. A man is going to see the value in you. Not just skin tone. A man, okay? When these little boys out here trying to down you and make you seem like, oh, I only date light-skinned girls. Keep it moving, girl. Keep it moving, okay? Look at that as your way out. Like, that's your ticket out. That's your way of knowing that is a little boy. That's not no man. A man ain't gonna care. When he see when you are a valuable woman and he sees that, you think a man gonna be like, oh no, nah, she got her stuff together. She makes me happy. She we could really compliment each other. I could grow with her. You think a man is gonna say, but she's dark skinned. No. No. A little boy would say that. And I guarantee you a little boy ain't worried about the rest of these things. How valuable you are, what you bring to the table. He's not worrying about that. He's looking at your skin tone and how many likes you get on Instagram. 
and what his friends are going to think and what his kids are going to look like. He's he's trying to build a fantasy world because he's not he don't feel good enough. He don't feel good enough. So he has to have this in order to feel good enough. But yet, a real man is going to see you as a valuable woman. She got her shit together. She brings things to the table. She compliments me. She makes me happy. And she's gorgeous no matter what her skin tone is. That is a man, honey. I promise you that's a man. Stop worrying about these little boys. Stop saying, oh, men only want light-skinned girls. They treat light-skinned girls better. No, that's a little boy. Leave them little boys alone and go find you a man. And love yourself. Because when you love yourself... You're not going to allow anybody to come at you with no BS. You're not going to allow yourself to believe just anything that people tell you. And one more thing, ladies, before I go, stop being so triggered, okay? Like I said, since I was younger, okay, I got picked on because of my skin tone. I got talked about because of my skin tone. I got treated differently because of my skin tone, okay? Them people who talked about me, who treated me differently, like I said, I did not value them. I didn't go at home crying. I didn't go at home thinking about them at night. I didn't. None of this stuff. None of this stuff. Because I always felt like better than that person who thought so ignorantly. Because I'm not ignorant. I'm not going to lie. I felt better than y'all. Because it's like you don't have much going on in your life to where you care so much about my skin tone that makes that, that, that triggers something in you. But guess what? Your ignorance is not going to trigger me. And that's the confidence that you need to have. Ladies, find confidence. Love yourself. Respect yourself. And the people around you are going to follow suit. If you don't respect yourself, if you don't love yourself, you're going to allow people to treat you any kind of way. I'm telling you, have confidence. Build confidence in yourself. And don't worry about the next person opinion to build your confidence because that's not how they go. If you're so busy worrying about if your confidence level is determined on whether or not this person likes you or not, you're never going to find value in yourself. You have to find value in yourself, okay? Just do that. Do that for me, please. I know a lot of dark-skinned people don't hear too many good compliments. And when you do, it's those backhanded compliments. Compliment yourself. Talk to yourself. Love yourself. You don't need the world's opinion. You don't need the world's approval to love you. You don't need the world's approval to love yourself. Just love yourself, I promise you. Not one day in my 28 years of living have I ever felt bad about being dark-skinned. I, I loved being dark-skinned before loving dark-skinned was a trend. I will repeat, I have loved being dark-skinned before being dark-skinned was a trend. My confidence didn't come from what others thought of me. My confidence came from me. From when I looked in the mirror and I'm like, damn girl, you cute. Damn girl, you chocolate. Damn girl, you popping today. Like, my confidence came from me since day one. I've always felt pretty. No matter what skin tone. When I get black, I get blacker than this during the summertime. And guess what? I love it. I love it. Okay? Love yourself, ladies. I'm telling y'all, love yourself. Stop worrying about what the next person got to say. Stop worrying about what the next person thinks. Okay? Light-skinned girls don't get treated better. I promise you. They get disrespected. They get talked about. They get dogged out. They get beat on. They get cheated on. They get um all type of stuff. Stop letting people make you believe that. Okay? And if they do, if somebody treats somebody better because of their skin tone, that person isn't a valuable person. I promise you. That person doesn't even love themselves. I promise you. A lot of people think, oh, I'm about to go get a light-skinned person and my life is going to be better or I'm going to be happier with a light-skinned person. They be miserable. They be miserable. They, they miserable because they are miserable. Okay? They are miserable. So no matter who they're with, they're going to be miserable. Look in the mirror. Tell yourself I'm beautiful. Look in the mirror. Tell yourself I'm valuable. Look in the mirror. Tell yourself I am somebody. Build your confidence today because if you keep letting these, this world trigger you, you're going to be miserable, okay? Stop it, all right? Every day when you wake up in the morning, love yourself. Love yourself. Love yourself. And don't accept nothing but love from others, okay? Thank you so much for tuning into my video, you guys. And I'll catch you in another one.